This is Halo Vision. It's new. Halo Vision is a customizable visual analysis suite for surround and immersive audio. It currently runs in up to 712 channels. And of course, I could not possibly comment regarding whether we'll be adding support for other channel counts at a later date. The plugin has seven views, which can be rearranged, resized and reconfigured to suit your specific workflow. Correlation web, correlation matrix, location haze, frequency haze, time code, spectrum and true peak. Let's take a look at what they do. The time code view is pretty self-explanatory. It displays a time code readout based on the current playback position in your door. The correlation web has channel labels around the perimeter with a straight line connecting each pair of channels. If a pair of channels is out of phase, their connecting line lights up. Similarly, the correlation matrix is a grid of squares with each one representing a pair of channels. This view gives slightly more information than the correlation web, as well as showing which pairs of channels are out of phase. It also shows which pairs are perfectly in phase and which pairs have a neutral phase relationship. All the way red means those two channels are out of phase, all the way green means they're in phase, and yellow means they have a neutral phase relationship. Both of these views use contextual correlation. This is a slightly augmented way of measuring correlation, which we have developed specifically for Halo Vision. Most correlation meters don't take signal level into account. But if two channels are out of phase and one is significantly louder or significantly quieter than the other, then it's unlikely to significantly affect the mix. By default, Halo Vision does take signal level into account. So it only shows phase issues where the level is similar enough for it to cause phase cancellation. The threshold for this can be adjusted or it can be turned off completely to revert to standard correlation. You can even choose to display both forms of correlation next to each other side by side. The location haze is a top down view of the surround field with typical speaker locations labeled around the outside. The haze shows where the audio energy is focused in your space and the brighter the color, the greater the intensity. If you're working in an immersive format, then you also have a second view below, which shows the energy and intensity on the vertical axis. The frequency haze shows similar information, still mapped to typical channel labels around the outside, but this time distributed by frequency. The closer to the center of the radar, the lower the frequency, and the further out, the higher the frequency. And again, the brighter the color, the greater the intensity of the audio. Unless you're a total beginner, the spectrum view will probably be fairly self-explanatory. You've got frequency along the bottom and level along the vertical axis, uh, sorry, axis of the side. This view has two modes. A combined mode shows all channels in one spectrum, and in groups mode, the channels can be viewed either individually or in smaller groups of channels. Finally, the true peak view has a true peak dB meter for every channel. I won't go into a huge amount of detail about what True Peak means because this has been covered elsewhere on this channel and on the NewGen website. But for many applications, including streaming and broadcast, it's much safer to use True Peak metering rather than Sample Peak metering. As with several of the views in Halo Vision, you can set up your own custom color scheme for the True Peak meters. Keep your eyes peeled for more new views and features as we continue to update Halo Vision.